It's a trilogy of truly unique music videos. It's time to finally reveal its secrets. Filmed at locations all over the world, it's an epic trilogy like no other. We wanted to create something really cinematic, something that felt and looked like a real movie. Now it's time for a closer look on the hidden meanings, clues and facts found in it. The world of Walker Universe. It's time it all gets decrypted. In Tired, we enter as walkers are preparing themselves to face a solar storm, threatening life on Earth. We see them bury a huge box in the ground. It's a time capsule set for 83 years into the future. We meet a couple of walkers as they're making their last commitments in the world as they know it. In episode one, we fast forward 83 years into the future and discover a world in ruins as the walkers are digging up the time capsule. The first chapter is called All Falls Down. Uh, it's about the discovery of the time capsule and uh, future walkers finding their new purpose. When they finally manage to open the capsule, the walkers find the artifacts buried generations ago. Among them, the AV-8s. These are casts of the Alan Walker logo, and we later learn that they can be transformed into flying drones. Seeing the drone come to life was a huge moment for me. In episode two, Dark Side, we learn the actual mission of the walkers. It's a mission closely linked to the contents of the time capsule. We meet the white and the black team as they scan monument by monument. As predicted on the prophecy disc, the two teams meet at a summit in what seems to be a ceremonial launching of drones. The holograms appearing are some of the Spominics. For instance, the Spominic of Tientiste and Podgaric are amongst the monuments seen here. Also in this scene, we count 12 drones swarming above the walkers, but only eight walkers below them steering. This is the first clue that the movement is larger than the teams introduced this far. It's in episode three, Diamond Heart, that we're introduced to the second prophecy disc. This one is different from the ones we've seen until now. Looking closely, the number eight appears repeatedly. Also, there are eight marks, each pointing to different World of Walker locations. So, what are these locations? A common definition is that they are safe havens built by walkers in need of shelter from the dramatic events that occurred more than 80 years ago. It's evident that Alan Walker himself is one of the masterminds behind these communities, holding Walker ID Zero. Towards the end of episode three, we see the walkers as they get to their world of Walker. When seeing in front of them what once were visions of their ancestors, they know that they have made it. The walkers' journey has ended, at least for now. A large-scale operation was set up to accommodate the video treatment's demand for props and artifacts. In short, a whole new world was about to be born. In the pre-production, we actually made a lot of props. Of course, the time capsule, the drones, the profit discs, and of course, all the new costumes. A key component in the world of Walker is the prophecy disc. It not only determines the journey lying ahead of the walkers, it serves as their guiding compass, and the audience is invited to read their interpretations into it as the story unfolds. Camera is rolling, and action. In the music videos, we meet the future walkers on their vast journey over mountains and through continents. This is not only true for the walkers, but for the film crew as well. Shooting episode one and two, the production team traveled some 4,000 kilometers through Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and Montenegro, capturing the Balkans' magnificent nature and historic culture. We are here in Dubrovnik, Croatia, shooting a new video for Alan Walker. In particular, the Spominics, or monuments. 
The sheer size of these are simply breathtaking, and in the trilogy, they do play an important part. This is one of many monuments we've been visiting in this trilogy. So you, are, you come evenly into the thing, like you come together. We drove to Montenegro, where we shot the final scenes for episode 2, Dark Side, on the famous mountain Lotem. We were surrounded by clouds, we had a very good spirit in the team. It was the last day of a beautiful shoot, truly a special day. To film episode 3, Diamond Heart, the team set course for Iceland. Here the weather is often harsh and rapidly changing and its wild nature calls for spectacular and at times dangerous endeavors. Far from the cold Nordic climate, the sweeping desert of Dubai serves as a second location in Diamond Heart. It's not only beautiful, it can be dangerously hot and dry. Thankfully, the film crew were taken good care of by local experts. So we shared a lot of laughs, a lot of good positive energy, and it was just something that I will remember my whole life. As the artist Alan Walker is on his way to the next gig, fans all over the world are waiting patiently for the next track and for the next music video. What those will reveal about the world of walkers, only time will tell.